Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for ya. Um, there's a lot of crafting supplies. I'm super excited um, to show you. And we have a visitor today. Come on, Luna. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> we have Luna Dog today. She's tormenting the cats, but that's okay. She's staying with me for the week. We're having some anti-puppy time. Uh, can you say hi? Yes. She's visiting us, and she's up here playing with the cats while I do some videoing. And, oh, excuse me, allergies. Today I have some English breakfast tea with cream, and I hope it's the right color. I think it is. It's very hot. Because <laughs> now I'm steaming up my glasses. We'll let it cool for a little bit. It is record high temperatures here. It is October 1st and it was 92 today. Um, I believe tomorrow it's supposed to hit 92, 93. Same with Thursday and then Friday it's dropping into the 60s. Welcome to Ohio weather. Okay, we got a Dollar Tree haul. It's a lot of crafting items, um, but not everything is for crafting. But look at these. Have you, I hope you found them in your store. These are um, the nutcrackers, but this year they're plastic and not that kind of creepy wood from last year. And I'm gonna take them to work for my desk. So I thought these two were cute. Maybe I'll get a couple more, I don't know. What I could do is like glue them onto a board and have them just sitting in a little Christmas scene to take to work, maybe with some um, bottle brush trees in between, but we'll see. Anyway, I got the green and this black and silver. So I thought they were adorable. So I grabbed two of those and I got some fall gift bags. I really enjoy these except for one spot. This one, not too bad. The orange sort of goes with these leaves and there's some metallic and it's super pretty. I, I can't understand this blue with these leaves but it's okay i love these bags the side it's the same fabric that just wraps around and it's a two pack and i just love them i love having bags like this for fall um if i'm bringing baked goods to somebody or whatnot i like to put them in a bag so i grab the pack of those <gasps> look at this this is definitely for fall i have not seen this exact shape it looks just like a pumpkin and they have it in orange um, I went with clear because I want to be able to either use it for Christmas or um, fall, Thanksgiving, and put maybe, if I do for Thanksgiving, I might even fill it with like corn, raw corn to sit out, or coffee beans, or hey, I might use it for sugar, for my sweetener for the fall. Yeah, I love it. And they had them in an orange as well, but I liked the clear, like I said. I like to be able to see what I'm storing in here so what I might do like I said put my sugar in it and put it on my fall coffee bar I don't know tin lid you could glue something to the lid and spray paint it like a copper penny would be fun um and this is green briar it's a decent size so I just grabbed one I'm trying to be good about things I found let's just go in this bag everything is kind of spread out I showed you these when I was painting um, and I'm storing paint in them to keep it like paint that I've mixed the color to keep it from drying up. And these were a four pack for a dollar. So I grabbed the packs of those and then I use this white paint and this is Jot brand and it is tempera paint. So it's not acrylic necessarily. It's more of a tempera, um, which I think is a little different, but it worked fine. And if you want to do any painting projects, you could totally buy these, but paint the dog. Paint like this, acrylic paint, you're gonna get cheaper at Walmart or Joanne. I think they have some 50 cent varieties. Um, but if you're in a pinch, the Dollar Tree does, and I wanted to try it. So I grabbed a tube of white just to try with that project. Um, I picked up another pack of these glitter pens. I am obsessed with these pens. They write really well. Um, the green obviously is great for fall, the red and green for Christmas, the silver and gold. And so I just grabbed an extra pack to have on hand. They write very well. Better than the other pack I got with the fall colors. These definitely write better. 
and I love writing in spark and they're glittery sparkly gel glitter pens premium and these are Greenbrier and my store had plenty of those and they seem to have had those I think year round I'm not 100% sure I grabbed two of these to try one is for a giveaway and one is for me to try and these are the electric nail kit for acrylic and natural nails for manicures and pedicures portable travel size easy to use um, it has a shaping tool, a cuticle pusher, and a buffing tool. That's kind of exciting. And it takes two, no, it requires one AA battery not included. So I grabbed a green and a purple, and I'm going to keep one for a future giveaway. And I grabbed one to try. So we'll see how that works out. I have to do a mani at some point. I like to do my nails. And I have not done that yet. I picked up a pack of these stickers to go with the Santa hats. These were my favorite, the Christmas trees and the Santa hats. Um, they even have some little gems on them. And then the yellow, hi honey, and the yellow star at the top. I love this. Um, you could even add some glitter paint to them if you wanted, but they're, and they're self sticky. I just thought these would be cute, even on Christmas cards if I'm handing them out or something. And this comes with 10. 10 pieces, so I grabbed those. All right, I think that's it except for the next. I got two of this, and actually I got, well, four, but look at this ornament with the buffalo check. So for, oh, I'm gonna have to glue it down. It's lifting up a little bit here, but just a little touch of hot glue will put that right back in place. Um, I got, they came in the circle, so the ball, um, around a Christmas tree and something else but I liked these so I got two of this shape and two of this shape how fun are these so I'm not hanging them on my tree because usually on my tree it's just um, ornaments like that I've collected over the years but I have a wooden bowl and I think I'm gonna get a bunch of this because I also got to coordinate with this and I think this was from last year, the owl, but he has the buffalo check too. So I'm feeling like a bunch of this type of ornaments in this big bowl and then maybe some wood. Just to bring it back to earthy or some pine cones. Um, these are, I think this is like a wiffle ball in here. It feels like a wiffle ball, there's holes. And I'm sure this is just an ornament, but they had, like I said, different shapes, but you're gonna wanna grab them when you see them. And then the fake greenery up here, but I will definitely put some real greenery in. I think I wanna go to the Christmas tree stand when they come and get some cuttings um, of a real tree. And then there's this one, which I just love him. He's so cute. An owl. So that's just for decorating, not for my tree. So I'll put it around the house somewhere. Let's see if my tea cooled off. It did, delicious. And in the vein of Christmas, oh yes, this won't annoy anybody. It's a bell pen. I would take it to work, but I think there would be a mutiny on my hands and my coworkers might hurt me. So I'll leave it home and maybe write Christmas cards with it. Or just have it because it's just fun. It's a jingle bell pen. And listen, I love it. I wonder what color ink it writes in. Now, the one thing with these novelty pens, blue, and it doesn't smell like peppermint. You know, they don't write so great, but that's just adorable. And I think it would be very festive to make like a grocery list. I don't know, I'll put it down now. Putting it down. Okay, is that it? Okay, yes, yeah. now the last of the items that I have are from the Crafter Square collection. One of my stores has a fair amount, one like carved out for the Crafter Square, but I don't see all the items yet. My store had them in two different places. Some of the items were with the kids crafty stuff and the other items were on an end cap. So I couldn't even tell you, they're all over the place with this stuff. But I found, and I got two of these, but they're magnetic buttons. So to make magnets, and it comes with 14 pieces. Oh, so they're double high magnets. Oh, 
Wow. So there are 14. And I grabbed two. I thought there was only seven. 14 magnets. And I'm going to tell you, these are pretty intense. I mean, they're a nice, strong magnet. And they come on a little metal disc for storage. But sometimes I just need magnets to make things, I don't know, for crafting. But when I saw them, I know that I have paid much more for these at Joanne and for not as many products. So I grabbed two of the magnets. I'm going to have to, oh, watch. Look how strong they are. That is one magnet holding up this jar. That's crazy. Um, so that's perfect. And I'm really getting into collecting the materials for things that maybe I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I hope this is black. It looks black. Yes. Yeah. So I grabbed two more paint pens. I found the black. So I picked up two. I really like these. Again, they're not as great as the Sharpie, but they do very well. And especially when I do a lot of drawing and outlining and then painting in, I don't need a, a $4 pen. The dollar one is fine. I just want to lay down the lines and then paint inside of it. So I found the black. I'm going to open them up and stick them in the, I have a, I got that Michaels, but it's like the Ikea cart and I have the hanging cups on it. Yeah, that's black. It was looking blue in this light. Um, and I have one for my paint pens that I keep. And honestly, the ones I use the most, black, white, gold, silver. I have other colors from like clearance finds and stuff, but these are the ones that I use the most. So I grabbed two more black. I've got a Grinch project coming up that I'm super excited to share with you soon. And I needed some black. And I may need some other colors, but we'll see. And then I found a three pack of these Dauber sponges. Technically they're if you're stenciling, but you can use them for anything. And there's a small, a medium, and a large. And I thought that was a good deal. They look like they're pretty well made and a good solid um, firm sponge i haven't tried them yet but that was a good a good find and the last thing i got which i have no idea what i'm going to do with are these uh, mini glass containers with cork lids i mean they're glass there's seven of them they have the little cork i could hang them maybe put a message i don't know but and i didn't get all the sizes they have this size a larger size a smaller size four pack six pack i mean they were all they had all different ones but i just grabbed the seven pack and i'll do some research maybe on pinterest to see what um other folks are using them for um what i my goal i have a silver dresser over here and if you have went watched my um craft room cleanup tour um, I need to go through that dresser and I need to sort out all the stuff I don't need and the things I do need. And then I want to stuff it with just generic crafting, not seasonal, but just basic craft items. Like all of these could go to, you know, these would go with paintbrushes. This would just go with little doodahs um, in that, those sets of drawers. So I know where everything is. And then I have tubs and totes for specific holiday stuff like these. So that is everything that I have. I hope you enjoyed. I don't think I can get one of the cats over here. Alex! Alex! Oh, here comes Alex. Come here, buddy. Except for now I have a dog. She doesn't like me to hold the cats. All right. All right. It's Luna, girl. Oh, here's Alex. All right. Luna, say bye. Say bye, girl. Oh, cute girl. Now I'm going to get... She saw the dog in the back there. Come here, Alex. Oh, everybody wants to say hi to the kitty. And then we have Alex. The dogs make him, gets him a little nervous. They're fine. Um, Alex saw, or Luna saw, we have a big neighbor dog. And now Alex has seen the big neighbor dog there in the condo behind me. And they have a beautiful German Shepherd. And he's out playing with them. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and we will talk to you later. Say bye. Say bye, baby. You say, He's not going to say bye. I'll say bye. Bye, everybody. You have a good one. I will talk to you later.